we've always said every student ha uh, has the right to be treated equally and to feel safe, uh, to face to feel safe at school. It is important. Uh, that is something that the president certainly is committed to, uh, and that that is why these protections are are all about making sure students have equal rights uh, restored. Hearing from the White House press secretary on this. Joining me now is trial attorney Shondell Summer. Let's get into it. Now that federal courts are blocking these protections, what does this mean for the Biden administration? It means that it is further defining the Democratic Party as being the party that is not protecting women, uh, which is a core constituent for their base. Um, these uh, Title IX regulations were developed in 1972 to protect women and to protect women's rights to participate in sports on an equal level with men because in 1972 they recognized that women's sports were not being funded and not being supported the way men's sports were. So to broaden the definition of sex discrimination to include gender identity and uh, sexual orientation means that men or biological men who have transitioned to women can now compete in women's sports. Um, this isn't anything new, but it's been troubling to a lot of women's rights advocates for good reason. Uh, it basically guts the ability of women to compete in sports um, against someone who is biologically stronger uh, by nature. Yeah, some would say this is just allowing everyone to be able to participate um, and, and take part in sports of their gender identity choosing. Uh, what legal recourse does the Biden administration have, if any, to fight back? Well, they can defend their policy, which is basically a, a set of regulations, but 26 Republican attorney generals have filed lawsuits, and I believe three of them have been uh, successful. In other words, the it, attorney generals of those particular jurisdictions have been able to obtain restraining orders prohibiting enforcement of the regulations, which were set to begin on August 1st, 2024. So they've already won to a certain extent. And the interesting thing is that the judges in those case, cases were very strong, very opinionated, and said that the attorney generals were likely to win on the merits. Uh, so they've already pretty much decided that uh, these regulations need to be struck down as being discriminatory towards women. Uh, Title IX has several different facets. You touched on it a little bit about funding and things like that. Um, these judges are blocking it due to its impact on just one of those facets. How do these rulings impact the possibility of adjusting the law in the future? Well, the, the law is still there. Um, it's a 1972 law. It was called the Educational Amendment Act of 1972. These are new regulations which interpret the law. So striking down the regulations doesn't do anything to the base law. Um, the, the Biden administration can fight back against this. But I, as I said, I think it's a very unpopular issue in an election year because women have such strong feelings against this type of thing because of the impact that it has on women's sports. So I, I don't know how strong a defense they'll mount, um, but it, it certainly is um, an issue that is um, very concerning to a lot of people. And it frightens people to think that uh, the Biden administration would consider uh, the sexual orientation to be a discriminatory factor when you're talking about uh, participation in things like sports and uh, allow men into women's locker rooms and restrooms and um, places. I'm going to stop you right there because again, there are people who are on the complete other side of this and say this is literally protecting kids um, who identify differently. And um, so I want to end with this. I respect your opinion. I'm just stating there's another one. I want to end with this. What is the role of the Justice Department in all of this? Well, the Justice Department supports the positions of the Biden administration. So whether or not they uh, strongly object to these lawsuits that have been filed and whether or not they appeal uh, remains to be seen. But again, I think it's a, a women's rights issue and I think they're gonna fall on the wrong side of history.
Your opinion again. Thank you. Trial attorney Shandell Summer, thanks so much. A number of critical cases still